I'm not talking about in the vigilante no no be. As in the security, he got the tight. Thank you, our Father. It's going to be tight because of the overflow. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it unto it. And they are what? So it's a season of Rehoboth, it's a season of safety. And the security you are looking for lies in God's presence. It's a security that money cannot fetch for you. It's a security that protocol, the tartan, the police, Akorogo, with AK 47, Mandigebu AK 45, cannot fetch for you. When this presence comes, it goes with also the angelic presence. The Bible says that the angels are sent to us to minister to the saints. And so when you have angelic, angelic presence, what I call angelic presence, you can give them issue instruction. You heard me pray and, and I told the angels, please do your work and do it fast. It's an instruction. And that's what the scripture says. Are they not sent to the saints to serve the saints? But that's why you need the presence. And this weekend, God will give somebody the presence. Onye wendi mozi wu banyere mo eka na malaga dabush. Onye wendi mozi wu banyere mo. Yes, Lord. Inye wendi mozi wu banyere mo kaha kuruma baka. Overflow of his presence. And remember that I shared with us, when you realize the kind of angels, they take care of you. You move around with boldness, with audacity. People are mamebosi. Amen? I know I shared with you, come each emunu onyala na zika veni. Kanga fere, kampa na moto onyala. Na chokweba, ogara gara 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 gara. Na tomaka, rute just like eba heno. Kan na tupe moto. Osem. MTN, close to Genesis. five. Amen. Okure, come, na sisi ka muwe moto. Oto no kwa. Na eje uzo Genesis na abago. Mu asikwa na NTN pota moto mpak ni ru NTN. And I wanted to kabush. You know the normal thing I gave me. No para baba la gada. The God stop me. And say laugh. I started laughing. <laughs> Do you know that somebody in this meeting is going to laugh from this season? Mandia lano na village uno on hanawe ala that somebody in this season is going to laugh. If you are the person, begin to laugh. Let us see you. Hey 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 hey. So that nanda lafu takwa ha fu kwanda la na we kafa. Eke pataka lagada ba lagadash. All protocols are served. This season, the Lord will give his angels charge over you. He will place a command over your destiny. So that when they finish doing their meetings, asese rapoge. 
when we talk about overflow, we are talking about excess, abundance, running over, mention them, spreading over, fullness, filled up, like we saw where we took our second reading from Luke chapter 5. And so we are talking about overflow of God's blessings, overflow of God's presence, overflow of babies, overflow of promotions, overflow of money, overflow of wealth, overflow of properties, overflow of businesses, overflow of profit. Now listen, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. A closed mouth is a closed case. That's what we are talking about. Amen? Amen? Overflow of peace. Overflow of life. John chapter 10 verse 10. The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I came that you might have life. And have it in over. That means you are not going to be cut short in the midst of your days. Yeah. As you are seated here, may your days be long. Yeah. Like the days of a palm tree. So shall the days of somebody in the house be. Yeah. You shall not be cut short in the midst of your days. Yeah. You will see your children and your children's children. You will see peace in Israel. I said you will see peace in Israel. The Bible recorded. My people shall belong and enjoy. They will enjoy the fruit of the land. Amen. Quite a glorious is it. So when we talk about overflow, it's not just about the money. It's about you also living and enjoying the money. Amen? Amen? Let's proceed. Tell your neighbor, you stay here. Ask your neighbor, you stay here. So the custodian of overflow said there shall be overflow of jobs, overflow of promotions, an overflow of righteous living. Some people who are battling with sexual immorality, the Lord will deliver you in this season. Jesus. If I don't hear your amen, I declare you a suspect. Amen. Nobody goes to heaven by mistake. Amen? Amen? So we practice here for us to get there. There, there will be no practicing. Amen? Amen. So I better make what game I can source a key guessing with a go. Key guessing with a quago. We can do our lesson. No way, manager. Hallelujah. The Lord will help somebody to live a holy life. And if you are that person, let me have a stronger amen. amen. Psalm 66, verse 12. That has caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. But thou brought us us out into a worthy place. Amen. So overflow is coming into a worthy place. But learn another Psalm 66 verse 12 for former. Also that you have caused men to ride over us. You have allowed us to go through the fire. And then you have now also chosen to bring us into a what? A worthy place. Can I let you know that from that verse, overflow and Ekokuyama coming into a worthy place is not just for everyone. It's for some persons. 
who has passed through the fire. Oh, when they got bigger, who are in the house, three of us. Oh, when that's our local who are in the house. Is there anybody like that? You know, try him new. Oh, when they honor like him. People who have been through difficulties. But in this season, from that verse, God is introducing you into a worthy place. And I came as the damsel of the Most High. And by the spirit of the living God. And under the custodian of the one who owns the heavens and the earth. Who said the earth is mine. The fullness thereof. Fullness thereof means the overflow in the earth. Belongs to me. Silver and gold. He said they are his. And I bring the word of God to you. That in this season the Lord is taking you into your worthy place. Some of you will enter into your worthy place before the end of this year. Don't forget the scriptures. Say, when the Lord has blessed you, please do not forget him. Because I, I heard this when I was preparing for this message. Some persons who have been counting in hundreds will begin to count in thousands. Yeah. 